Hi everybody. Today I have a very old photo to scrap, another old layout. Um, this is from 2006 when I was in college. Um, so I had this idea for a page. Actually, I think it's kind of half a scrap lift, half of like a, I kind of used my own idea with an idea I saw. I saw this page that had the um, two strips at the bottom and like a wood grain, I think it was a wood grain in the middle that I really, really liked. So I'm using my June and July Gossamer Blue kits for this. Um, that wood grain, I absolutely loved the wood grain sign, but I also loved the other side, which were, were the cameras. So I saved the two strips of the cameras so I can, can use a little bit of that paper. Um, I'm looking through my photos here for a specific picture. It is a picture of me in my junior year of college and <laughs> I was dared um, to put a monkey tattoo in my forehead and a uh, temporary tattoo and go to one of our um, I was in a co-ed community service based fraternity so uh, go to our, one of our groups or I think it was a meeting or a service project or something like that with it on my forehead I had no problem with it so that this is a picture of me with a temporary monkey tattoo on my forehead kind of fun um, so I used my simple story story simple stories photo crops to crop down the photo to four by four and then I'm going through some of my paper here I want to put a strip of paper down the middle to, as like a large photo map um, so I decided on this I think it's studio calico or you know what? It, it's either studio calico or it's um, the new October Afternoon Public Library. I had two sheets of paper that were very similar um, that had text on them. I think this one is Studio Calico though. Um, and so it's got text and now I'm cutting out this piece of, I think it's Gossamer Blue exclusive paper that has plus signs in different colors. Um, and I used the reverse of that, which is the red, just to double map my photo. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the Studio Calico South of Market paper that I'm looking at the back. Um, then I'm going to double map my photo on that, the plus side paper and the red paper. And then that's going to go to the left of my layout. Um, and you'll see here just in a second where it's going to go. So I am, I'm, I'm quite a silly person. I will, I am not one to, de to deny a dare if it's a harmless dare. Um, so I get myself into all kinds of interesting activities. Oh, sorry, I'm, I watch, um, I binge, binge watch Netflix seasons and I'm so close to catching up on Downton Abbey and I had a, I put it up against my um, little plastic cases where I keep some of my embellishments and I was looking for this chipboard frame so my iPad was down there so you could see um, my TV show a little bit. But that is one of the crepe paper pier, the pier chipboard frames that I have left over from last summer. Um, then I'm going to back with another piece of that plus sign paper that I matted my photo with. And then I'm just going to cut off, uh, trim it around so it's smooth, you can't see it. And that is actually going to hold my title. Um, my title is going to read one of a kind, because um, I certainly am, and especially with the monkey tattoo on my forehead. So I'm using these crepe paper uh, open road thickers that I absolutely love that came in the July Gossamer Blue Kit. And I need to order myself some more. I think I said that in one of my other layouts. I need to order myself some more of them. I love them. I think they're so cool with the different colors. And I'm going to use the letters as well as some of the arrows in a little bit. You'll see. Um, so I go back to them. And I'm going to use my October Afternoon uh, Daily Flash, the block stickers in a green um, for the, it's the thickers are in one, the words say one in kind, and those are going to say of a. Um, so it's going to complete my layout, and I'm going to just kind of fiddle here with my letters, use my glue, glue my, down my thickers for my title, and then I will start um, the embellishment process. So this, I really like how this layout came out. I think it, it was really fun. It was really quick. Um, once I saw that, um, the idea of the, the two thin strips of paper at the top and the bottom, I the rest of this layout came out came very quickly. Um, the idea for it. So I very rarely sit down with an idea in mind. Um, if I'm having difficulty with the layout, then I might flip, flip through Pinterest or um, some ideas just to get 
something, I, an idea to base my layout on. Um, I don't usually sit down with a project or a layout in mind. Um, this time I had seen it a couple days ago and or days before and I loved it. So I did sit down specifically to make this layout knowing exactly which um, photo I was going to use. I think I'm caught up on my TV there. <laughs> so I'm now going to flip through my embellishments. I'm going to use a couple of these cork frames from the Studio Calico South of Market uh, cork embellishment set that came with the July kit. Um, one of these fancy pants uh, pick things. I don't really know what to call them. It says hi. Um, some Teresa Collins puffy stickers, some enamel dots, some of the uh, Gossamer Blue wood veneer. I think I'm only going to use the LOL one. Um, I don't use that saying that frequently in anything but social media, but um, it worked out really really well here because uh, it's definitely a kind of a silly picture. So I'm going to, and I use this public library, October afternoon public library tab that I am going to put the date on, even though the date is on my photo. And I dislike that. Um, when I was in college, my camera that I had, it was my very first digital camera. You couldn't set, it didn't have an option to turn the date off. So the majority of my college photos have the date printed on them, which is actually really helpful for me um, now given the fact I'm trying to go back and scrapbook a lot of them, but it's really, I don't like the look of it, um, especially like this picture, the date is on my chin. Um, so it's not the best, but I didn't want to cover, try to cover up the date because then it would kind of cover up my part of my face, which I really didn't want. So I'm putting down here the rest of the enamel dots on this sheet. I just, I didn't like the color too, too much. It did go with the layout. Um, so I just used them all up randomly, interspersed throughout the top, kind of like a banner, along with those cork frame, uh, the cork embellishments and the, the puffy stickers. And then I'm going to um, go through and look for something to tie the picture to the title when I find when I decide that these arrows work perfectly. Um, to kind of connect the two. I, I'm not a grid layout person. I don't love them um, because I feel like a lot of times it's, things are disconnected, whereas this kind of, the arrow, using the arrows really tied in the picture to the title without making it look overly like a grid. Um, so i trying to think what else I did. I got up to go find um, something else to put underneath the photo, and I pulled out um, this die cut with a view. It's epoxy it's black and white looks like typewriter print they were it's the line the vintage line um, that Michaels carried for a while um, and then clearanced them out pretty quickly after getting them um, so I got this pack on clearance and it's got all kinds of different words and I'm pulling off the words that specifically I would describe myself as um, words I think I did personality sassy dream big playful uh, super awesome silly zest for life, laugh, things like that, that, that are just kind of describe my overall personality um, or what my personality was in college. It's a little bit different now, um, but it, for the most part, similar and the words could still describe me today, but um, I didn't quite know what I was going to use them for. These stickers did not come out very good. They completely peeled off their backing. They were a pain in the butt to work with. Um, I'm glad that I didn't pay full price for them. I probably wouldn't have paid full price for them um, if given the option. Um, I think I got them for like 25 or 50 cents on clearance, so I had no problem paying that um, for something that I could possibly use, and I did. I used about half of the sticker pack right there in this layout. So, so that about finishes up with what I'm going to do here with, my, with this layout. I do fiddle around with them a little bit, but not too much more. Um, so that is my layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.